Let me just uh, simply ask, I think it's appropriate, uh, to if any concluding comments, Dr. Sherman and Ms. Byer, Ms. Trotter and Mr. Moskowitz about the, the issue, advice to us uh, going forward. Dr. Sherman. I think and I tell my students that one of the great strengths of the U.S. economy really is the fact that we've focused on uh, giving investors the information they need and letting them decide for themselves. So many countries take a much more paternalistic approach mm -hmm. and uh, you end up losing a lot of great companies and funding a lot of bad companies that way. So I hope that the U.S. will focus on giving people as much information as possible and then uh, having them take responsibility for their decisions. Ms. Byer. Please. I would agree with Dr. Sherman's comments all the way along the way. I would say that the promise of a public offering uh, spurs many individuals, in, at least in Sil all over the country, but certainly in Silicon Valley where I live, to, mm -hmm. to try new ideas that turn into the large companies that never existed and suddenly employ thousands and thousands of people. The markets are tremendously important and mostly not broken. Mostly they suffer through swings according to risks in the marketplace. Um, that said, I think there are a few changes that probably could improve the process. And again, I strongly uh, recommend many aspects of the JOBS Act be reconsidered as much of what it has accomplished is transferring risk earlier in the process from private investors to public investors, which, as you point out, doesn't actually create jobs. Can I, one other thing, too, is, and, and, and this is, um, the potential for not just the misallocation of resources, but for fraud. Does that concern you? In, in, uh, uh, yes. Um, certainly there will always be on the margins yes. some, some fraud, but we haven't talked in another time probably um, about crowdfunding, uh, which is certainly very interesting, but also enables, um, enables significant uh, transfer of funds between informed investors and uninformed investors or in, uh, without any regulations around it. Um, because we have pushed back the size for which a company needs to uh, reveal its information publicly from 500 shareholders to 2,000 shareholders, um, we will probably see much more activity on the uh, secondary markets. And again, there are no requirements for information. And in fact, uh, trading on inside information in the secondary markets is perfectly legitimate. So without going on too long, yes, I think we have some fraud and issues I just, coming. Uh, uh, there's a further 